All right, so hey, what's up everyone? I started this video yesterday and then my brother and his cronies all came home and interrupted me. So then I never got to do it because they woke my son up from his nap. Which right now he's trying to nap, but he doesn't like to sleep alone. So we'll see how that goes. But um, today I made a list about what I want to talk about. Um, and I want to talk about how to change your life by getting sober. And I want to talk about my story a little bit and the struggles I went through and how I got to where I am. Yesterday was 19 months sober for me. <clears throat> so feeling super proud of myself. Really just can't wait to hit that two year mark. Um, it's a goal, it's like six months goals. Like gotta get to the next six months, <laughs> just keep on going. Um, <clears throat> so basically getting sober, um, you have to want to make the change. You have to want to do it. You have to want to get through a new day get through a minute being sober two minutes three minutes four minutes um and there's a big difference between thinking you want to do it and then actually doing it um we all do it happens to the best of us we're like I'm gonna do this today or I'm gonna do that today and then we never do it I've probably told myself a million times that I'm gonna make a YouTube video today and then I just never do it um and then I did it the other day and I don't know if if anyone's even watched it besides myself but if anyone has watched it then hopefully I planted a seed for somebody because that is what recovery is about it's about planting seeds giving somebody hope that there is a chance for a better life whether that's you know getting clean from alcohol or drugs um so a little bit about myself um I was always the social drinker, uh, you know, starting high school, go out, get party on the weekends, get drunk. And then I, you know, progressed from there. I lost someone really important to me in a tragic car accident and my life's just kind of slowly spiraled out of control after that. Um, so in 2016, I got an OUI in my own driveway that was a real eye-opener um decided to you know got out of jail went home poured all my alcohol down the drain and was like i need to get sober because my life just you know turned upside down which i also refused the breathalyzer so that didn't help me out any you know going from losing license for 150 days to adding 275 more on top of that so word of the wise if you ever get an ui don't refuse a breathalyzer because you just screw yourself even more. <laughs> um, so then I moved to a different town so that my daughter could go to preschool and I could walk to work. And life might be a little bit easier not having a license. Um, yeah, probably not my best idea. Um, probably one of the worst and best times of my life, probably. Um, I was very close to the bars. I was within walking distance. So when I didn't have my daughter, I was always at the bar getting drunk and ended up in jail a few times, not even knowing how I got there one time. <laughs> um, and that was probably my first rock bottom was, you know, waking up in jail, not realizing how I got there and was like, wow, like, what am I doing? Then I got picked up on a warrant for my OUI because <clears throat> I was supposed to do a sentencing thing and then I didn't do it. I was just going to turn myself in and, and do um, just my jail time. Uh, and obviously was drunk when they picked me up, so I was violating my conditions of release again, um, which entailed more time in jail. Um, and then, you know, I did the jail stuff and got out and decided I needed to get sober again. So every four months I would be sober and then I would fall off the wagon because I didn't really want it. I didn't want to think I had a problem. You know, I got through the four months and I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I can just socially drink now. Yeah, not the case. Um, then I met the father of my son and he was in recovery from a heroin addiction and he had a bad past and I knew his bad past but I gave him the benefit of the doubt that he had changed and that he wanted a better life not so much the case um but being with him it gave me the chance to get sober 
and then we got pregnant and I had a miscarriage and our relationship was falling apart and moved back home. Went out on a weekend bender, woke up on the bathroom floor, blackout drunk, and was like, I just can't do this anymore. I can't keep living like this. At the same time, the father of my daughter was deciding that he wanted to take my daughter away from me. Mind you, at this point, I had gone sober for four months um, and relapsed and was like, shocked that he decided you know three years almost three years after my rock bottom when he probably you know had the best time to step in and do something about my drinking and although I didn't have my daughter when I did all these crazy things she was always at her dad's which was a good thing but after relapsing the last time it really opened my eyes that I needed to make a change um so then I found out that I was pregnant again um, shortly after I relapsed and was pregnant with my son, which gave me nine months of very sober, life-changing situations. Um, my daughter ended up living with her dad most of the time, and she was only with me a couple days a week. And I realized, like, okay, so now my past is coming back to haunt me and I need to fix the wreckage of my past. Um, <clears throat> started going to meetings um, in an awesome group. Uh, we do peer-to-peer -peer support, which is very different from AA or NA. Um, we talk about real-life stuff, real-life situations, how we're going to get through the next day, how we're going to, you know get through the struggle that we're going through now rather than talking about like what we used to do in the past and how we just basically ruined everything in our lives. I'm on like my second cup of coffee this morning. I love coffee. It's probably besides smoking cigarettes, my only other crutch that I have in life. Drink a lot of coffee. Um, so yeah. So deciding to get sober was probably the best decision I ever made. And hitting the milestones, like the first month, the second month, and then, you know, you get to six months, and then you get to a year, which is a really good feeling. Um, it just changes a lot. Hold on, I am switching over my list. See if I can get this flipped around. I got it taped up next to me. So while I was pregnant with my son, my daughter's father decided to take my daughter away from me. And it was probably the best thing that I was pregnant because I would have relapsed. Um, I may not even be sitting here today. I could have been in a lot of trouble or just not here at all. It was devastating. My daughter is my whole entire world. And for the first seven years of her life, I was the primary parent. So to have her ripped away from me was like the world crashing down around me. <clears throat> uh, sorry, it makes me super sad. <laughs> um, so I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand why all these things that I had done previously with her not even being around were the key reasons to losing her. Mind you, my mother was a factor in him getting a lawyer and doing all of these things. Um, so I was trying to figure out what I could do. Like, what am I going to do to change this? And staying sober was the key to changing the situation. Um... But it was a struggle. It was a serious, serious struggle. And you have to have a good support group. You have to have people there to vent to that aren't going to just sugarcoat everything for you. They're going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you that what you did is going to affect you in the long run. Um, I don't have a big support group. I have a very small support group. 
but it's all the important people. So the day that I lost primary custody of my daughter, I sat in the truck with my dad for hours and he just sat there with me while I cried and, and talked it out and was trying to make sense of the situation. And then I went to my sister's house and we talked about it and you know, that's what you have to have. You have to have a support. You have to have people on your side, in your corner. Otherwise, it's going to be a real struggle. And that's a big part of wanting to do these videos is to let everybody know that there are people out there who support you, um, even if you don't know them. Like, anybody who's getting sober, like, I am so proud of you. It's such a big step, you know? Drugs, alcohol, all of it, big step. I was never a drug addict. I mean, that just wasn't wasn't my thing. Alcohol is such a easy access. You know, I lived in walking distance of a convenience store. Like, it was, you know, it's right there. If you're old enough to buy it, if you're old enough to go out there and get it, it's, it's an easy addiction. It's an easy way to cover the pain and not have to deal with your life and everything that's falling down around you. So, if you're struggling today, know that you have people out there who are cheering you on. Um, you may not have one directly in front of your face, but we are out here and we are here to help and support and get you through the days that are hard. So biggest thing I can say about getting sober is it's not easy. It's going to be hard. You're going to want to throw in the towel probably every day for the first month. You're just going to want to say, F it. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. But you can. You can do it. My hair is like super crazy this morning. But we're here for you. We are cheering you on. Um like share subscribe all that fun jazz if you want to hear more um i don't know i'm still new to this i'm super nervous sometimes i feel like i'm just talking in circles but uh yeah so that's my thing for today getting sober and how it will change your life because good things come from getting sober good things come i you I've never felt more proud of myself. Um, I feel like I have accomplished a lot by getting sober, but there are days where I feel like I haven't accomplished anything. Um, and my family's proud of me. So that is a huge thing. That definitely keeps me going. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys again another day for another video.